hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is amaka of sky Bell beauty today's video is on this gorgeous look and if you want to see how i achieve it keep on watching if you're not following me on instagram please do so because i post things that you will not see here on youtube i'll leave my handle across the screen without wasting much time let's get started to set my lid i'm going to use my foundation because of the kind of look i'm doing today i want my lid to be a neutral color Hence, I'm using foundation. To set underneath my brows, I'll take this very light skin tone shade from my Morphe 3502 palette. It's like a skin tone shade and I'm just going to set underneath the brow. And we're going to drag that color all the way down towards the crease area. It's a very simple eye look I'm doing today. I'm taking this shade right here from the Morphe 35B, from the Morphe 3502 palette with my Morphe M441 brush. And we're going to put this color just on the outer V of the eye. It's like a cardboard paper brown. That's the only way I can explain explain it. A cardboard paper brown. On top of that, we're taking this brown. It's a warm mustard brown. And we're putting that at the top area. And I'm going to mix a little bit of culture, a little bit of revenge, and a tad bit of played out just at the outer V bottom area. I'll go back in with that brush and just diffuse it out. Taking the cardboard brown shade we used initially. To cut my crease, I'm going to use my foundation once again. And I'm not doing a full cut crease. It's just going to be halfway. Switching to my favorite brush. So right now I decided to switch over to my P. Louise eyeshadow base. The whole foundation thing, it was nice but then it was too light and it wasn't giving me the effect I wanted. So I went over the foundation with a with my P. Louise eyeshadow base in room of 5. And it created a nice peachy nude base for the eyeshadow we are going to apply. So I am just going to diffuse the edge of this using my finger and try to blend that shadow in before I go in with a brush and I'll just use my brush and just diffuse that color in but not really putting any products but just diffusing. Now I'm going to take an angle synthetic brush and just blend out and pat down the lid and if need be you can always go back in with your brush just diffuse 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 and i'm taking a little bit of thick from my perception palette and i'm just going over the top area right here to bring a bit of color Nothing too crazy. And to set my lid, I'm going to take the shade Culture with my 
Sigma E38 diffused crease brush and I'm just going to slightly tap that on the lid area it's a peachy nude skin tone shade so it's perfect for giving a little bit of color to the crease without being too dramatic remember you can always go back in and blend 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 for my inner corner highlight i would use my maybelline master chrome highlighter in the shade molten gold this is still one of my favorite highlighters next to the color pop one of course but i'm not going to use too much i'm going to use very little because we want to still keep the look somewhat simple then using the brush I used in my crease, I'm going to also run that across the lower lash using what's left on the brush. For mascara, I'll use my BFF Colourpop Mascara. It's the volumizing one. And I'll use it for my top and bottom lashes. To line my eyes, I'm going to use my Milani um, Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. We're just going to fill in this inner corner part very lightly. So before I put on my lashes, I'm just going to let them dry. We're going to move on to the skin. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 340. You already know the drill. I love this foundation so much. And I'm using a dual fiber brush. To set my face, I'll use Zaron Loose Powder in the shade Elvet 20 and I'm just going to set our face very lightly. I'm taking that brush I use for my transition shade and I am just going to use that to contour my nose very lightly. To contour my face, I'll use my sleek contour using this shade. Very, very soft contour today. We want all the focus to be on the lips and not the face. For blush, I'll use my sleek blush in the shade Sahara. It's a bit broken, so I can't quite show you guys. For highlight, I'll use my Shayla X Colourpop highlighter in the shade Pose. For the start of the show, I'm going to use these two lipsticks, this is the Cherry Blossom from Colored Rain and this is 
mac ruby wool i'm going to use this on the top lip and outline my lower lip and then i'll go over with this on the bottom wish me luck guys So this is what we're looking like so far. I'm just going to take off my scarf and fix up my hair and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here is a completed look. Please don't forget to like, comment and let me know what you like about the video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.